Oh, Warhead's not going to be a filler, they said. It's not going to be a filler. The Rebels are going to lose their base in this episode, they said. Guess what? It's time for another Rebels recap. So this Rebels recap will end up being a quick one because for the most part, yes, it did have a little takeaway at the very end. But the majority of this episode was indeed a filler. Sorry to break it to you. So the episode just starts out with the Imperials sending down probe droids to each different planet, just like they did in the beginning of episode five on how the probe droid ended in Hoth. Except this time, it's a different kind of probe droid, a more advanced one that starts off as a protocol droid and transforms into this giant, deadly, monster-killing spy droid. Meanwhile, back at Chopper Base, Zeb is left alone and in charge while suffering harassment from both of his companion droids about his inability to lead. Or think, for that matter. He gets notified about a crash outside the base and brings back the Terminator droid mentioned earlier. He asks AP-5 to restore the droid and goes back to command to listen to a message from Fulcrum, who tells him to look out for an Imperial probe droid that looks just like the one they activated. AP-5 is taking him around the Rebel base and mentions that there is in fact a rebel base and that restores the robot's memory which leads him to go all terminator style again so zeb comes up with the plan to disable it and they find out when they do so that it has a self-destruct sequence and a very very large bomb inside of it that's not good chopper then freezes the bomb and zeb alters the plan just a little bit to reprogram the droid and let it go back to the ship because if it doesn't go back to the ship, the Empire will check the last known location of the droid anyway, and then they'll find Chopper Base. So he reprograms it to go back to the ship, and so when it returns to upload its data, it will explode. That way, the Empire will never know since it detonates and they'll never know which droid detonated. So they do just that and follow the droid back to a ship to make sure he gets there in time to let it go. Meanwhile, Callus witnesses the explosion of the Star Destroyer that the droid went back to and informs the rebel base of their success in not being discovered by the Empire. Woohoo! The ending scene shows Callus talking to Thrawn about the events and Thrawn narrowing down his search of the base to the 94 planets that the Empire sent probe droids to. So all in all, it does have a little bit of a come out of it because Thrawn narrowed down his search to the rebel base slowly slowly inching toward his most likely assault on the rebel base for his plotline finale so as my review of the episode goes what can i say for the most part it was pretty much an average filler episode i honestly it felt like it went by really fast i wasn't really too enthralled by this episode for the most part you know um you know i have funny parts and stuff like that but to me it just wasn't for me personally, it wasn't as funny as a lot of the other episodes, a lot of the other filler episodes. It didn't keep me as entertained as those. Um, it was cool seeing the, you know, concept drawing of C-3PO. That droid was the, when it was in protocol form anyway, it was the concept of C-3PO as Rebels uses a lot of the Star Wars concept drawings for a lot of the characters and a lot of the items in it. This was C-3PO's concept drawing, which we haven't actually seen on Rebels before. So this was pretty cool. Um... But I mean, other than that, you know, it was an average filler episode. And again, yes, it in a way was a filler because Thrawn narrowed down his search. Yes. But, you know, that could have happened with a lot of other stuff um, happening in the episode. And I mean, that whole episode boiled down to like literally two seconds of something that came out of it. And it was mostly the whole episode was pretty much just in. A really big chase scene where they were chasing down the robot and stuff like that and comedic little quips at each other so yeah all of that's fillers because none of that part actually mattered it was literally just the ending part of it um so i mean that's all i can really say about this episode so until next time guys i'll see you later i have a few videos coming up but for right now make sure to check out my latest videos right here coming up on the screen and look out for this week's videos coming out hopefully i get more out this week but like i said unknown schedule for a while but i should be getting a couple out this week i'll see you guys later and have a good week <laughs>